Okay, so uh, I was trying to figure out why I couldn't get my email server to work right by bouncing off the Google G Suite Gmail that I'm actually using. And while I was trying to correct things, I dug around in the log files and I thought, oh, this is strange. And I uh, did a Google search for uh, this IP address and it turns out uh, some somebody in China is trying to hack into my system already. So I thought, yeah, maybe it's a good time to show the fail to ban. So in your unused modules, one of your things you have is fail to ban intrusion detector. And usually uh, a lot of the unused modules, when you click on them, they've got an easy one button install just you know boom it's in so go ahead and uh, that's something maybe you should do early on once you set up a webmin is put in the fail demand so one of the things that I found out while I was digging around in the logs was that uh, somehow an appended line in my postfix uh, main configuration file instead of starting on a new line started on the same line so it was trying to find the CA certification file the, the general purpose cert and uh, right at the end of the file extension started a new line it was supposed to drop the, uh, the uh, testing level to not testing in uh, in the email server. Okay, so back to the failed event module. All right. Um, let's see. As with a lot of these things, uh, they're the defaults are set up very, very good. Now, uh, something odd I've been noticing is that uh, the 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 that unused module section is is holding on to things after you install them, and I have no idea why. Uh, I think it's it's like an error somewhere in um, it's an error somewhere in the new look of Webmin. I've even gone into some of the Webmin settings and told it to recategorize it, but inside it was categorized right. Just for some reason, this, this interface isn't letting it go from here and go up there. So. I don't know much about fail to ban, but I know that uh, I know that it looks for for typical typical actions that, that happen and like uh, like that Chinese hacker trying to log into my webmin system. Start a boot my configuration. So uh, if you want to figure out how to set up your failed ban, use that uh, use use the help that's online for failed ban. So that's enough. And uh, right after I put on the uh, fail to ban intrusion monitor, uh, that had, without me doing anything, had automatically wrote some stuff into the standard Linux firewall. And there was an error message up top. Uh, basically, I just read the top of it, check the start at boot, and then click save. And the configuration wrote, 
and now now we have a series of uh, rejects which are in jail because uh, they're the hacker. So um, things are working nicely. Fail to ban has a lot of settings. Like I say, learn it on your own time. I'm not going to act like I know much about it other than it works. <laughs>